Well, I moved this by hand while ago, till I got tired. Now I'm back to doing it here this way. If I take off this big long pipe, I think I can. I think I got. I think I got it loose enough now. I'm moving it. It's loosening up. I can see the thread. One thing for sure, you'll never get one of these loose by beating on it. That never moved that thing. That thing never moved when we were beating it. It just wouldn't move. You see I put a strap on there. To keep that pipe wrench from going in there and hitting my filter and breaking my filter off, <laughs> which I moved the machine one day a couple days ago and it I about tore that filter up. I had it just right against it. If it would have ever slammed into it, it would have surely busted it open. chain on it and I come along and I pull that cylinder out a little bit. I don't want to expose any of the chrome. The rod, the rod, you cannot scratch the rod. If you scratch the rod, your seal won't work. You gotta be careful not to damage the chrome rods. I'll have to be real careful about it. Just me using the leverage, and I got it broke loose. You can see right here where I pulled this out that I got this covered up because I didn't want to drop this pipe wrench, like I said, against the chrome rod. But most of that rod is inside there's very little sticking out but they said that you couldn't get it out you'd have to take it off take it somewhere but without this chain hoist this thing and this 48 inch pipe wrench and this long cheater bar I've got it out so, 
I'm going to continue and get this thing out. I'm going to pull this rod out. I'm going to have to drop the cylinder down because the hose, the hydraulic cylinders, the hoses for the cylinders are hooked to the bottom of the hydraulic cylinder. You cannot get in there. It's just too small. There's no way to get to it at the bottom. So you got to pull a pin and drop the whole cylinder down just to get that one blowed. I got a blowed line in there. So it, fluid went everywhere. We lost a lot of fluid. But hopefully that's the only place. It's, this, this is a pretty dry machine. I don't think there's really any leaks on this machine. Except for this thing here, it was leaking pretty bad. But it leaked a lot worse when I blew that line off. But we're going to try to continue to take that off and we'll have some more footage later.